What's poppin' YouTube? Welcome back! We are here with more of Has Been Hotel. Yeah! We're on episode three now, so let's get straight into it before we get started. Here's an ear wiggle. Here's an ear wiggle. Aggressive wiggles. Anyways, <laughs> I hope you hit the like button, the subscribe button. Leave a comment down below to feed the algorithm quads. Check us out over on Twitch at Alicia X Life. If you're currently watching Alicia X Death. Alicia X Life is my Twitch channel. Please come through. It's a vibe. Also, also check out the link to Vivzy Pop's channel in the description below. Let's get it. I like this opening a lot. That's why I never skip it, even though there's a skip button. It's just so cute. It's swanky. Da. Da, da. Da, 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 da. Oh, sleepy baby. That oh. looks perfect. Oh, I am so excited that Sir Pentius is staying at the hotel. Um, Pentius was just trying to take over the city with his weird steampunk bullshit a few days ago. Well, I haven't seen him try to pull any of that here. <laughs> What the hell is that? Oh, hello! <laughs> oh, hello! It's just my steampunk bullshit. <laughs> Female, it's my new invention, the Skin Player Eleven Thousand. I'm really looking forward to shooting the other residents. What? Why? Everyone is being too nice. Obviously, it must be a lie. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, that's so sad. Oh my god. All these damaged souls have trust issues. They're like, well, everyone's nice to me. So it's clearly a lie and they're all fake and I need to go fight, fight them. Because they're going to fight me and they're going to kill me. So I'm going to kill them first. <laughs> like, no, it's okay. I can sense they are planning to kill me. Yeah. Well, <laughs> how? I must be prepared. Absolutely cannot build weapons in this hotel. No one is trying to kill you. People are being nice because they want you to feel welcome. <laughs> Actually, kind of a perfect reaction gif. Hold on. Wait, hold up, hold up. This, hold on. To feel welcome. That. <laughs> Just. My doubts. Mm -hmm. Well, it's true. You have to trust us. But I don't. Well, why don't we focus on that for today's activities? Activities! <laughs> no more building weapons. No more plotting against other guests. And you need to get rid of these things. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, what did I just say? What did I just say? What? Not my little egg boys. They do my evil bidding for me. Do you want to stay here and redeem yourself? Yes. Then no more eggs. All right, eggies. You've got to go. I. What if the eggies do good stuff instead? You anymore? Okay, boss. No, don't resist. This is how it has to be. Oh, that's crazy. Yo, deviled eggs don't even fuck with you for real. They they dipped. They dipped so quick. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no! Oh my god, poor guy. Alistair! Do you mind? I'm in the middle of breakfast. Pentius's eggs are all over the place, and I need you to get rid of them. Oh, well, in that case, I'd be delighted to. Humanely. Oh! Well, that's a lot less hot. Oh, okay. I can take care of that on my outing. But hear me out. If it is breakfast time, we could take them to the kitchen to be utilized. Kraken style. <laughs> Today. Great. We think that this group could really benefit from... Chest exercises! Chest exercises! Chest exercises! <laughs> Maggie, we rehearsed this. <sighs> We're doing trust exercises. So, what's with the whole, uh, this? 
I'm not about to put on some show for these fucking chumps. Oh, I will. But it's cash up front. And I know that one can't afford me. Gross! Damn. I'd never <laughs> think of it, Spider. Right, well, let's get started. Charlie? Actually, I thought maybe you could take the lead on this one. Oh! So maybe you'd know better about how to build it properly. What? Uh, I don't know if I'm qualified to... Oh, come on! It'll be easy. I'm sure you can handle this. I believe in you! Um, sure. I can handle this. No problem. Alright, so we are starting with trust falls. Each of you are going to share something vulnerable with the group about yourself and then fall backwards while the rest of the group catches you. Got it? Who wants to go first? Alright, get on up here. <laughs> She's such a I, precious bean. I love you guys. Like, really? Really? Love you. No one caught her! No one caught her! That felt okay. good! Everyone's supposed to catch her, though. You go next. Fine. This time, everyone needs to catch him, okay? Unless you want me to hurt you. Hmm, something about myself, huh? Well, how about this? I love to suck. I swear to fuck if you say dicks. Popsicles, you sicko. I do love sucking dick. Anyways. <laughs> but you know, dicks too. <laughs> All right, new guy. You're up. <laughs> I don't want to live without my minions. Nobody catch me. <laughs> Damn it. <Yeah>! Yay, pain. <laughs> I told you to lock the Skittles in the cupboard, Daryl. Who left the Skittles on the counter? <laughs> now look at it. She's gotten into the tropical Skittles. It's a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this is really working the way we hoped. Maybe we should. Honey, you have to trust me here. I got this, okay? Oh, yeah, honey, believe. I got just a thing for some trust building. Mm -mm, back your ass up. You have in mind. Oh, never mind. Oh, we're open minded. My bad. What's the plan, boss? I like your suit. What are the antlers for? Can I touch your staff thing? Are those your ears or is it your hair? I can't tell. Oh, Alistair, how fair be this day? Who's that, boss? Want me to rub him up for you? Follow in silence if you value your shell. Greetings, bestial. Oh, holy shit! <laughs> the weather. It makes me so satisfied that this isn't the same universe as Hell of a Boss. Because the design matching perfectly with the hell of a boss, with the hell of a boss, like demons and shit, like the princes and shit, makes me so. It's just so good for my brain. It's so good how well he matches. Oh, my brain feels good. My brain feels good. You come this fine day. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Indeed, looks like we might have some acid rain this afternoon. Ah! If our luck is cold, <laughs> I do revel. I didn't expect that guy to light himself on fire. That threw me off. He just looks over, and that doomsday motherfucker looks at him and goes, <gasps> I got to get to myself before anyone gets to me. <laughs> and the screams, how art thou? It has been an age since thou hast graced us with thy presence. How dost thou fall in such folly? That is for me to know. But please, do guess. I'd love to know the theory. That's, oh my god. I want to know too, bitch. The folly by far to assume the workings of your mind, Alistair. Thou hath been not an enigma since thy manifested in this realm. Coming from someone as ancient as you, I take that as quite the compliment. Don't throw the eggies in the trash. Oh, never mind. Oh, dude, I love how he just fucks with the TV dude all the time. I have a very important task for you. Stay here and guard the front until I return. Oh, oh, oh. oh look! Frank 
is up there? Oh no, Frank! We have names? Oh! I guess you do. Well, but. Frank! <laughs> be careful, Frank! Don't get stepped on! It might be your kink, but it's not worth it, bro! You'll die! She's pretty. <laughs> Welcome, Hell Sovereign Overlords. I've invited you all here because you represent the controlling powers of our city. Together, you own millions of souls. Souls at risk with the new extermination schedule. We need to discuss what can be done to minimize the impact to our interest. Zestial, so good to see you, my friend. Enchanted as always, Camilla. Alistair? Oh, she had the biggest arms dealer. I'm sure you've all been wondering. Not really, but welcome back in any case. This year's extermination was brutal. Far more even than years past. We have assessed that about 16% of the population was lost. With the Angelic Legions now returning twice as quickly, I think it prudent. Yes, I've got it handled, Vox. Are you doubting me? Really? Me? That's what I thought. <laughs> Yes, I know. They're all a joke. <laughs> Thank you, V. See you soon. Kisses, darling. Nice of you to join us. Oh, that's so cute. Elizabeth, will your colleagues be joining? No, they have better shit to do than to listen to an old windbag who thinks she's tough shit. I'm here to represent. Charming. So. Damn, the shit emojis go crazy. We need to discuss. Yes. On the subject of discussion. <laughs> oh, tasty. Where they got the head of the angel. Remember the angel that they scanned the body of in the previous Ooh, but now they got the body. I mean the head, the head. So now they know they can kill angels. Now we need to figure out what weapon kills the angels. <laughs> we found it during extermination day. Thou art far more foolish. Than I be thought. Oh! Proof. It's a dead fucking exorcist. I'd say that's pretty fucking definitive. You going blind, old man? We know not how this perished. I mean, to be to be really honest with you, if you don't know how they perished, that is a problem. Because what if it's a traitor amongst the angels, and it was actually infighting that killed one of them, right? So not knowing is a huge issue if that does not get figured out. Perhaps it was not by a demon's hand at all. <laughs> if we rush to war. Motherfucker, sometimes I just gonna let this shit play. <laughs> sometimes they just be saying shit I'm saying and I'm like, all right, my bad. <laughs> no enlightened, they purge all of hell for daring and uprising. It could happen, though. That's possible. That's possible, I suppose. Oh, I get it. So Grandpa is too pussy to fight, so I guess there's no point, right? Oh, do not fall for this manipulation. You are literally an ancient being. Do not fall for this. Oh, but his ego. His ego. Oh, he hates it. Oh, don't give in to your ego. Oh, good. Oh, it's not got a hint. I was like, I gotta go back and just read the screen. Because, like, sometimes I can read it fast enough, sometimes I can't. One second. Uh, behave. Vlog sent. Uh, cash. Good shoot. Social media overload. Best bitch I know. My baby doll XXX. Bad bitch. Obsessed. Can't look away. We love. I'm guessing something. Probably her pussy. It's good. We now deliver instantly. Oh, it's a lot. Oh, she got the social media shit going too. Uh, 
Uh, well, overlords are scared to fight when it's fucking angels. Yeah, we can't touch with more intelligence. Are you in- You cannot eat him for breakfast. You- Are you serious? I love that she's serving, and I love that she's a bad bitch, but she's stupid. There's no way you can keep up with him. Oh, sh oh, she called it. Oh, that's so cool. She's like, hey, when I threw the angel's head, you turned red. What's up with that? You know something. You know how this angel died. And like, you are literally the biggest arms dealer in hell. So why would you not want this war, homie? Why would you not want this? That's the biggest sales you could get. <sighs> Ooh. See, I thought it was like the common sense of, oh, well, elongated war. You don't want your army like going up to heaven, losing, and thus you lose so many lives that you're not able to sell more weaponry over time. It's like a massive gambit. But her pointing out that she actually had a reaction when the head was thrown and is not revealing information means that's probably what's happening. She probably just actually knows what happened to the angel. I wish, I wish we could find out. Speak up, old lady. Thanks, Alistair. Hello there. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. Like Pac-Man. Actual fuck. No activity requires more. Trust in BDSM, baby. No bond stronger than those formed through bondage. That's their motto. Oh, well, that's, I mean, it's a great motto. Enthusiasm. <laughs> but, um, uh, hmm. What makes you think anyone would be into this? Hmm. You know, I, I don't hate this. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you. A nice sensual massage do be hidden. I don't give a fuck who you are, but a nice deep tissue massage. That shit nice. That shit nice. <laughs> I'm ready to punish some bad boys. <laughs> okay, girl, relax. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. No. <laughs> Hello? There? Hi. Uh, uh, oh, I can't fucking believe I let you drag us here, Angel. This is <laughs> She said. My girlfriends, do not fucking touch you dirty ass hoes. She literally said that shit. It's all over her face. She didn't have to see the words, but she said it with the body. <laughs> it's disgusting. It's no big deal, Faggy. You know, maybe I can just help. Uh... No, I told you you could trust me, and I'm not going to let you down. All right. I just need to teach them the way I was taught. This is how you learn to dress people? Get the Bring it on, bitch! Buckle up, Buttercup, because today you boys become men. All right. How is it? I can't fight without my minions. Are gonna survive together, and you are gonna make this hotel work. Yep. This is the only way they'll learn, Charlie. No, it's not. There are other ways. It just takes uh, time. time. <laughs> she literally went up these. Please, up these. I want to go up these. Please, up these. Please. Throw me in, throw me in coach. Up these. Throw me in. We don't have. How many exterminations will have gone by before these idiots get their shit together? How many times will we have to watch your people be killed before we make headway? Faggy. I took charge today, and it all went sideways. I'm supposed to make your dreams a reality. I'm supposed to protect you. I'm supposed oh, to never honey. fail you. Honey, you could never fail her. There, it, Listen, you could not complete tasks, but that doesn't mean you fail the person. 
okay? Not completing something or getting something wrong doesn't mean you failed the people you loved, okay? It just means that you didn't get it this time. A real sign of affection is that you keep trying, and you continuously try your best, no matter what day of the week it is. No matter what's going on, because the continuous notion of you trying is what actually proves that you have affection towards them. It's not about what you've done, it's what you're currently doing at all times. You didn't fail me. Maggie, you're not... You're not... If I can't help you, what's the point of me? Oh my god, you are... You are more... Oh my... This, oh. Oh, some of you are going to need to hear this right now. You are more worth than what you think you bring to the table intrinsically we all have value and if you only amount your value to actions you do you'll never truly realize how much value you have that's the reality okay you can't start tallying your accomplishments or tallying things that you've completed or things that you do in your day-to-day -to, -day to value your worth because that's just not how it works okay so do not feel like you failed people the moment you don't get something right. Don't feel like that you aren't someone worthy of being there or that you're a waste or that you're a disappointment because those things just aren't realistic to who you are, right? Everyone has potential and everyone has a chance to try something. But the moment that you b truly believe that you no longer are in that position is the moment that you will begin to fail because you're no longer trying at something. And it's totally okay to like... You know what I mean? Okay, it's totally okay for you to be in a place where you just mentally can't do something. I want to be very clear about that too. Because there's times where like, even myself as a bubbly, crazy, hyperactive person I am, where I get into massive depression funks and I lay in bed for days on end and can't move because I'm just like out. Like my brain is out. And it's okay to be that way too. But it's also really important to seek help because again, like the consistency of trying to push yourself is really important. And the moment you feel like you can't do it anymore is the moment you need it the most. Okay. Maggie, don't say that. You do so much. It's... I'm sorry. I'd, I'd like to be alone for a minute. <laughs> Made it. Let's go home, guys. It did. Ugh. The trust fall did work. Walked up all those stairs. <laughs> it did work. They did use teamwork. They both lived. It came up all the stairs. I give out of money now. Oh. Why she killed the angel? Why did she kill the angel? Oh, I want to know. Yeah, tell us. Load it up, girl. Let it be known, girl. Let us know. This song is good. It's giving early 2000s rock right now. It's giving. Keep the secret. Okay. Dude, I'm gonna cry. This part of the song. Oh, girl. Maggie. Oh, they finna get married. <laughs>
my god. Oh, Pink. Oh my god. This might be my favorite song. This might be my favorite song so far. Oh my god. My heart is pounding. God damn, dude, dude. <laughs> oh, them both singing together too when they started harmonizing. Oh, oh, if that doesn't hate your soul, I don't know what does. That was everything. I'm sorry if it has to be muted for YouTube, but at least you guys see my reaction to it because Jesus. Oh, but it's so good at the animations and the way they take it with that beautiful music video style and the rotating of angles and everything. It's everything. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I love garbage. I love garbage. Oh, what did you hear? <laughs> Farms, the old guy? Well, it was all, you're not yourself. Yes, I just thought all this would be easier, but we'll figure it out together. I mean, that. Oh. Oh, that is so beautiful. <laughs> like, understanding that, like, like, sometimes the pressure of wanting to help someone can be too much on themselves. And, like, having your partner acknowledge that and be like, listen, like, it, you don't have to have that pressure on yourself. It's okay. Like, I'm happy and we work through things together. It feels so validating. I love these two. I will die for these two. And I'm really happy. <laughs> oh, they're so close now. It worked. Shit out of you. Yes, with the dismembered arm. Yes, that was particularly unpleasant. That would make sense. I like that part. Well, at least you can take a beating like a champ. You did okay. Really? Yay! Oh, well, I suppose I did get into a little of the old rough and tumble today. <laughs> and uh, thank you for pulling me out of there. <laughs> Aww, they're all so much closer now. It worked. <laughs> okay, she's creepy. Well, how God damn. <laughs> Alistair, failed to get rid of the eggs, I see. Yes, well, the little monsters prove to be rather useful. Oh, okay. We give them back to Pentius. Really? Yeah. After today, I guess I can trust you with them. But seriously, no more weapons. Fair. Ah, my eggs! Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so good to have you back. Thank you. Go clean my quarters this instant. Maybe things will move faster than Aww. you think. <laughs> ah, how was your day with Alistair, my minion? It was awesome, boss. I went to this meeting, and there was a knife lady, an old guy, and a dinosaur. It really was. That's, That's true. Nice. And the knife lady killed an angel, and I was not supposed to talk about it. Oh, I'm so sure, and maybe you'll meet Martians tomorrow. But now is time for sleep. Good night, Eggy. He didn't believe it. <laughs> he didn't believe it. All right. <laughs> you know what, though? It does sound unhinged and unrealistic. So fair. <laughs> wow, he really didn't believe it. Amazing. <laughs> That episode was called Scrambled Eggs. I love it. I didn't even realize the episode title was. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching and for being incredible and for being you. I will catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to stick around for daily uploads. That's where I do whatever I freaking feel like. From reactions to gaming to, uh, I don't know, I just post two videos every single day. So just stick around. Hit the like button, subscribe button, all that good stuff. Join us over on Twitch at AliciaXLife. You're currently watching Alicia X Death. Alicia X Life is my Twitch. I'll catch you later. Bye.